Today on Cooking with Russ, we're going to be making deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. Really simple and easy to make. The hardest part of the whole thing is peeling the eggs. That gets kind of time consuming, but other than that, you got to cut them up and Get your uh, egg yolks all mixed up, and then put them in the eggs, and you're just about ready to serve. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is get ourselves a nice big pot and start filling it with cold water. And also add a little bit of salt to it. Apparently the salt is supposed to help when you're uh, peeling the eggs. I don't know if it works or not, but that's just the way I've done it. Start adding your eggs. I'm going to be using uh, an entire carton, which we buy the 18 packs. So we'll end up with 36 deviled eggs. Around my house, everybody loves deviled eggs. That's probably enough water. You don't need a ton of water, just enough to cover the eggs. That's plenty there. Like I said, simple and easy. Just take your eggs from your cold water, stick it on the stove. We're gonna wanna bring them up to a boil, so you can leave it on high. Got mine on eight. Once it starts to boil, then we'll set a timer on it. All right, as you can see, the water is starting to boil, so we're gonna go ahead and get our timer going. You usually wanna let it boil for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes this many eggs in there. Our eggs are done boiling. Get a little cold water and start cooling them down. After you finish peeling the eggs, you want to separate your yolks into a bowl and set your egg white sections aside. Because that's what we're going to use to fill up with our mixture of yolks and mayonnaise. I will recommend that when making the uh, deviled eggs here, some people will want to mix in relish or onions or some other weird, really gross thing in with the egg yolks and the mayonnaise. Don't do that. Don't be one of those people. That's, that's gross. Keep it simple so everyone can enjoy it and not get that real weird surprise when you bite into it and realize that someone has done something awful to these eggs. Your guests will thank you. All right, now that we've separated all of our egg yolks from our egg whites, we got to start mixing up the yolks. And you just want to break them up. Make sure you get all the big chunks out of there. I use two different spoons for this. There's one spoon I'm going to get mayonnaise with, and the other spoon I'm going to mix with. And I don't want to mix the egg yolks back into my mayonnaise. And it's better to start with just a little bit of mayonnaise and slowly mix it in there. It's starting to really break up well now. You also want to have a sandwich bag, you know, a little Ziploc sandwich bag so that you can 
put the uh, mixture in when you're done with it. And then we'll put it in the eggs. Looks pretty good right there. All right. Start with a spoonful of mayonnaise. Or a couple of them as that would be. So if you get too much mayo in there, you can't take it out. All right, looks like it's going to need a little more. It's still kind of dry And there. See, it's, it's not all mixed up right. I want a little bit more creamy than that. That's starting to look better. Oh yeah. Make sure to get all the corners. Well, the bottom parts of the bowl, the yolk will stick down in there. I think it needs more mayonnaise. Some people will use mustard, mayonnaise mix. You can do that if you want to. You know the rule. If you don't like it, change it. Unless it's putting relish or onions in there. We've discussed this. That's nasty. Do not do that. Your guests will hate it. No one wants that. Now this does get kind of messy and it is sticky. I think that's good. Let's get our sandwich bag. All right, now that we got everything mixed up, let's get your Ziploc bag. Start filling it with your egg yolk mixture. We'll probably have some of this left over here. It makes really great egg salad sandwiches. All right, I'll set that aside. And take your Ziploc bag and just zip it up. Try and get the air out of it. And you can just mush it up. Like I said, it gets messy. All right, pushing everything to one corner. I'm gonna pinch it back just a little bit. Get some scissors and cut that tip off. Put that aside so we don't get it in our food. All right. Now you can squeeze it just like doing cake icing. And just start one by one. Filling up your egg whites.
Looks like we're not going to have too much left over. All right. Last but not least, paprika. Now it's starting to look like deviled eggs. And that's deviled eggs. Put them in the refrigerator, let them chill for a couple of hours, and then they'll be ready to serve. Thanks for watching. No, get back. Okay. Get down. I don't need your help. Not a lot of people know how to make this. That's not true. <laughs> it's super complicated.